In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this odometer t-shirt design that was featured in a previous speed art video. Let's go! Once you have your canvas set up, I'm using 4500 by 5400 pixels with a 300 dpi. You want to set up your guides. So you go to image, guides, a new guide by percent, vertical, 50%, okay. Again, image, guides, new guide by percent, horizontal, 50%, okay. Next, what you wanna do is select your font. I'm going with Arial Heavy. I'll just type out, hold on, make sure, there you go, shift home. Let's make that 500. Right, turn off my background so I can see that. Perfect. Now let's line it up with the center. Right. Now what you want to do is go to layer, crop to content, grab your rectangle tool. Let's make a rectangle around it. That looks pretty good right there. A little bit bigger than the word itself. Create a new layer. Make sure you have the new letter layer selected. Go to edit. Fill with background color, which is gonna be your black. There you go. Select, none. Now move your odometer layer to the top. And there it is. Now what you want to do is you want to create these squares right here where the numbers are going to be. And for that, you stay on your rectangle tool, create a nice large rectangle that's less than half. So it'll be a nice little space between them. That looks pretty good. Create a new layer. Okay. Now go to edit, fill with background color, which is going to be your black. Pretty good. Select none. Now go to layer, crop the content. Now that you now that you have this layer, go ahead and duplicate it. Grab your move tool. Just scoot it over a little bit. There you go. Like there. And that gets you the two squares perfectly even. Now I'm going to use the same font for the numbers, which is Arial Heavy. So let's go with type of giant four. Home. And that's probably going to be around 1500 for the size to make it look right. Yep. Called it. So looks super good right there. Now do it again for the five. Go back to your text. Type a giant five. Shift home. 1500. Go grab your move tool. Hold it up. Alrighty. That's looking good right there. Now we need go back to your text. A nine shift home fifteen hundred move that up as well and a zero back to your text tool zero shift home size fifteen hundred go move tool move it up alrighty that's looking good so far Let's line everything up. You want to start by selecting your new layer, the one with the long black box. In my case, it's just called new layer. Go to layer, crop to content. Now select your align and distribute tool and click on the left box that you just created. In my case, it's going to be called new layer, but don't select that layer. Just click on the box. You want to align to the left of this box. 
go you're gonna do the same on the right side just click it align to the right and that makes everything nice and square now we're gonna do the same thing to align these numbers so select your left hand box which in my case is named new layer number one go to your align tool and click the number four and center align it and do the same thing with the number five and center align that okay. now before we align the nine and zero i'm going to bring the nine down a little bit bring the zero down a little bit that looks a little bit better now do the same thing click on the right box layer go to your align tool click on the nine center align that click on the zero and center align that all right now let's get rid of everything that's crossing these boxes so click on the left on the left box grab your select by color tool click the black box now go to select invert now here the four is hanging out click on your four layer and hit delete and that chops off the top do the same thing for five go to your five layer hit delete it's not much but it deletes that little bit right there we're going to do the same thing for the 9 and the 10. Go to your right hand square. Still select by color. Click the black. Go to select. Invert. Go to your zero layer. Hit delete. Go to your nine layer. Oh, nothing's going to come off there. That's it. Go to select. None. Now let's put everything where it's supposed to be. This layer by itself with a long black box. Go ahead and move it all the way up under the odometer text. And we'll do the same thing for all our numbers. So we we'll see four and five on this side and nine and zero on the right side. There you go. Now for the odometer text and that top square layer, go ahead and merge those two. There they are. Perfect. Now what you can do is move that down, grab your move tool, and move them both down a little bit. A little, a little closer to the other boxes. There we go. Now the way I have it here, I hollowed them out so the color of the shirt comes through as opposed to just being white white uh, text and letters and numbers so we're going to do that right now what you want to do is grab your select by color tool on that layer where you merge the odometer and the square just click on the white and delete and that's it now what you want to do is go ahead and merge basically everything down everything down put it all on one layer including the top one Merge all that now select none still your select by color tool click on the white letter on the white numbers I get them all selected and again hit delete and there you are now they're transparent so let's turn on the Select none first, and let's turn on the background color. Alrighty, that's good. Let's change the color. I have red there, so let's use red. Click on your background layer first, and now red. And as you can see, the red comes through the letters. Now, for this effect, I have another tutorial on my channel that'll teach you how to do this. And you can click it. Oh, hopefully I'll put it in one of the cards up here somewhere. 
But for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.